everybody. Sandy here. Today we're working on a 30 ounce tumbler. This has been sanded, spray painted, and it's a lovely color purple. And I wish I could remember the name of it. I will have to look it up. I don't keep my spray paints in my studio. That's why I don't ever remember them. But this has been this has been prepped for a good long time, a couple of months anyway. Just waiting for me to decide what I want to do with it. So we're going to be using Mod Podge. It's in a different container, easier for me to dispense. We're going to be working with a couple of different glitters, and I feel like I should show you this. This one. I've been dying to use this, and I haven't really had a good reason to. Uh, but this is Amethyst. It's a Recollections from Michaels. And it's a chunky glitter, but it has... I'm not sure how well you can see it. I always say that, but it's got almost teal tones in there along with the purple Amethyst. Um, and then I'm doing one that's pretty similar in... Um, in the shapes, in the consistency. This is called Blue Ice, but this has purple properties to it and is mainly teal. So I'm thinking the two of these together are gonna look pretty cool. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some Mod Podge on here and we're gonna put those glitters on and then I'll explain what I'm going to do with the next uh, segment. Let's get, let's get our Mod Podge on here. And I'm hoping to section this off in four sections, hopefully, because I didn't mark anything. But I'm doing a diagonal design, I guess that's what I want to say. And I'm not looking for it to be perfect. You know, if you've been here before, I don't look for perfect because I kind of, I wing it and that's how we go. And I may be sorry that I'm not using a foam brush, but all right. First things first, let's get this on there. Ooh, isn't that pretty? This, this 30 ounce is a big tumbler. So it doesn't really fit into my catch tray, but we'll make it work. Okay. Pat, pat, pat. Get that excess off of there. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I really love it. And it look at shift. Look at it shift. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm gonna say that was a, a good choice. I have to get my I had to get my uh, my clean glitter brush that I used to take off the excess. It is labeled for glitter only. That way I don't grab it and use it for something else and then transfer glitter onto something that I don't want glitter on. And I'm just going to get the, the basic laid down and then I'll go back and do the fine next to the, the purple glitter.
pretty good at it. That is pretty. So we're going to make that look like something when we get done here. I'm going to go ahead and dump my purple back into my container. Because I don't really, I don't see any skips here. I'm good with this. The nice thing is that it was spray painted the purple and there's purple in both of these. There's, there's such a color shift. I don't know how to make you see that. This is wax paper. This is not parchment that I have here, but it will work the same way. Can you hear the crunching? Oh, oh yeah, that's crunchy. Crunchy, crunchy. And I'm rolling it up just so I can give it a firm talking to. It never worked with my kids. It's probably not going to work with my tumbler. <laughs> there. That seems to be laying down there nicely enough. And I'm not shifting my hands while I'm on the tumbler. You know what? This would be really cool as a um, mermaid tumbler. But I'm not doing it. Let's see how we did. Oh, we've done good. We've done pretty good. I've got a couple of um, spots where I can see that it's up a little bit, but it's it's a really soft glitter, so I don't think there's any real concern there either. I think that'll basically that'll fluff off when I uh, hit it with my my chip brush. Then when we come back, we're going to do our dividing lines. This has just got to dry for a little while. It doesn't take very long for the Mod Podge to dry. But I am loving this. I know it's coming across kind of weird on camera, but it really does look awesome. Let's see if you can see. Can you see those sparkles in there and that color shift and this has that yeah see you can see the color shift in that right on the purple it's kind of cool to a greenish and purple and there is a cool color right there right in there Let's see if we can do that here yep you can see the purple down here and then the teal and green up there. So, yeah, enough of me showing you that. This is dry. I've brushed it off. Um, I'm sure there's still some that's a little bit loose on there. No big deal to me. Um, I have to tell you that as I stand back and look at this, it's really hard for me to see our dividing lines. It's really difficult. So, I'm thinking that that should be something that is more of a surprise. So I've decided I'm not going to go along those lines. I'm going to go from the top down and from the bottom up. And I think I'm going to follow the angle. I'm hoping that I'm not sorry about that. Unicorn Disco. <clears throat> and this is just a Walmart glitter. But this has been my saving grace so many times. I just, I love it. So I've poured some into a small cup. I still have my Mod Podge over here on my little lid. And I'm just going to make random marks. I, I, when I tell you that I can't really see what where the defining line is, I am not kidding. I really cannot see it. And I'm just doing random lengths. Nothing too um, 
earth shattering. You can see those. And I'm going to sprinkle this on there and see how we like it. And give it a little tap tap because I didn't put a ton of Mod Podge on there. Smack it around a little bit. And we'll see how we like that. I like it. So we're just going to keep going around the top and making different lengths. I do need to get a little more Mod Podge on there, though. And we're staying at that, that angle as much as I possibly can. <laughs> and because I can't see the difference in the colors from the way they shift, I am just going to go ahead and do what I do. Pretty. It is pretty. That almost looks like a Christmas present. It could be. So, yeah, that's what we've got. And when we come back, this will have been epoxied and um, we'll decide whether or not something's going to go on there. This is Cricut Iridescent Vinyl. There were three different color shift sheets in the package. And I chose the design from Google Images. I went ahead and applied my vinyl in three extra coats of epoxy. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. There's still time to enter my birthday month giveaway. Check out the card up in the upper corner. And until next time, toodles!